So, in this demo, I'd like to show CIDR and CRG Refactor. Uh, would like to show, actually, uh, how to uh, clean up an already existing namespace, which is a bit messy. Uh, so this is a typical namespace in the sense that there is a couple of small private functions on the top of the namespace, and there is one public uh, function at the end, which this case is a bit messy. So this is what I want to sort of clean up now. So uh, we can see here that this function actually returns three different categories of, of uh, public symbols, variables, protocols, and macros. So if you see the highlighted threading macros in the beginning of the lines, this is what I basically want to factor out into separate functions. But also there is more to clean up here. So let's start, for example, uh, if I highlight this slurp, you can see that this exp is expression is basically repeated. So let's just move that uh, to the let nicely. For that, I will use a Hydra, which is a really nice way to remind you to all the key, key combinations. So I will, I will use move to let here, so ML, and the node would be uh, the name would be notes. Done. Let's move there. But if I highlight notes, I can see that actually I created sort of a name collision. That's still valid code, but it's not really nice, not really readable. So let's just rename it with rename symbol. And the new name would be AST notes, rather. Done. Uh, you can rename uh, uh, symbols globally as well, so defens or defs or whatever, but this is just, uh, this was a sort of a local rename, so, but that's fine. So the other thing is uh, to, no to notice is basically these two local variables, they are basically only used for the protocol bit, so possibly I want to factor that out into a separate function as well, and then it can be used only where it, it, it is basically needed. So for that, I want to inline the NS protocols first because it's only used in this anonymous function. So for that, I would use inline symbol. Boom, done. And then this anonymous function, I just need to promote because it's already a function. So I use promote function. I need to give it a name. Can be the same as uh, in the local and create it. And obviously the, the thing, the tricky thing here is to figure out what needs to be the, the parameters for that function. And this is nicely done here. I possibly want to, to move that big threading macro into a let as well in this, this new small function. So I introduce a let here, call it NS protoc uh, protocols, and then extend the let and done. This function is possibly nice now. This one I don't really want to be in the lead because I anyway want to factor out that uh, uh, threading macro down in the body. So I want to inline this guy as well. Done. And now I'm ready to uh, factor that out. I can't promote that because it's just an express is, is, is expression. So what I need to do is extract function ef. Uh, need to give it a name used protocols. Boom, done. And since this partial is repeated as well, possibly I want to put that in a let as well. So IL for introduce let. This is NS protocol in node question mark. Want to extend the let and once more and done. So you can see in the highlight that it's nicely done as expected. So all what needs to be done for now is extracting this into a, its own function. So that would be find used variables and then this one, same way, extend fun uh, ex uh, function and the name would be find used macros. And we are done. So just load the namespace and then run the 
tests to see that we didn't actually break anything with the refactoring and we are done. Nice.